Karen. Patient. Dr. Clater. See you're on your feet. Yeah, I couldn't spend another minute in the hospital room. I was going to scream. I we could take a walk, can't I? Well, you can run a marathon if you like. Then my heart... is in perfect condition. Well, that's great news. That's great news. I have more. You can start the artificial insemination any time you like. Really? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh. Thank you. Thank you. I wish all my patients were that grateful. Oh, I'm sorry. I, oh, no, 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 don't be silly. <laughs> now, you call me when the uh, procedure is finished and we'll set up a pregnancy test, hmm? I will. I'll be waiting for that call. Yeah, me too. You're looking well. Thanks. I, I just got the clean bill of health. Well, that must be quite a relief. Yes, it is. Um, do you have a minute for me? I'd like to talk to you. Yeah. Uh, sit down. How do you do it, Liza? Do what? You seem like such a master. How are you able to win over everyone's sympathy? And at the same time, make me look like such a villain. Okay, you're upset about the sperm donor thing. All right, it's just one of those things for you, isn't it? No, actually it's not. Actually, this is a very important decision in my life. And it is my life, Allie. You and Jake, you have a lifetime together. I, I don't want you to be upset at me or, or this. How, how can I not be upset when the, the, the man that I love wants to have a baby with another woman. But hey, no big deal, right? So what if I'm not going to be the one to give my husband his firstborn child? Because he will already have that pleasure with you. But hey, why worry? I'm just overreacting, right? Right? Yes, you are. You know what, Liza? Shut up. Because I know exactly what you're up to. I have seen the way you've manipulated Jake, and now I see you're trying to do the same thing to me. Well, you know what? It's not going to work. I understand your situation. I know that you want a baby and there's no guy in the picture. So you just think you're going to help yourself to mine? Well, forget about it, okay? Jake is taken. So back off. All right, now it's time for you to shut up and listen to me. I don't have a great love in my life, Allie. You have Jake. You are his inspiration, his soulmate. You're his life. He is happy because you're in his life. Don't you get it? I couldn't and I wouldn't come between the two of you. And the only reason that I accepted his offer, he's a friend, is because I want a baby. I'm in love, but I'm not in love with Jake. I'm in love with a child that I haven't even conceived yet. I'm head over heels in love. Now, I, I guess if that's a crime, then I'm guilty. You can... I hope that you can believe in your heart that it was never my intention to hurt you. Nice try. You all right? You look like you've lost your poodle. Well, I told Skippy not to play in traffic. <laughs> Come on. What's wrong? Not absolutely everything. I got the gynecological seal of approval. I can have a baby anytime I want. Oh, that's great. Yeah. I'm very happy for you. Thanks. What? I don't think I'm the only one who's sat around here, am I? Isn't that obvious? Yes. Ellie came to see me. Oh. What happened this time? Well, I gotta tell you, she was loud and clear about not wanting you to be the sperm donor. I think I could do anything with my life as long as it doesn't involve you. She's pretty dead set against it, more than ever. Yeah. So, so much for your idea of the cooling off period. 
Why is that? I, I hate to disappoint you, but I, I don't... I don't think I'm going to be able to do this for you. No, I, I think it's a good idea. This is an impossible situation for you. I'm sorry. Don't be. Really. It's just Allie. She's, she's going to this... It's like meltdown right now and it's not just because of this situation and she can't practice medicine right now and and hayward's back in her face and she's just holding on to me for dear life and i i, I can't i won't upset her right now i understand i do you're disappointed what, then I'm not going to have the most handsome, smartest, pre-med baby in all of Pine Valley? Maybe a little bit, but your future wife, she doesn't like the idea, Jake. I can't argue with that. You're a good woman. Well, I don't know. If I was engaged to some guy who wanted to spread his, uh, you know, all over Pine mm -hmm. Valley, I'd probably load up one of those crop dusters and fill it full of cyanide and let it go. Well, I don't know. I think you'd be pretty okay with the idea. <laughs> you flatter me. Are we still friends? Always. Don't forget that. You know, it was very unselfish of you to offer. Mm. I really do thank you for that. I just wish it could have been different, you know? I mean, Allie and I, if we're going to start off on the right foot, we just have, can't have something like this between us. No, I understand. I just have to find somebody else. And, hey, I almost ended up with Ryan Lavery, mm. so mm. anybody else will be a drastic improvement. <laughs> Come. I will take you back to your humble room. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor. Mm -hmm. Allison Doyle. I think we need to talk. I have some uh, important information that I think you might find very useful. Uh huh. Liza Colby. Oh, come on. There you are. What took you so long? I'm not used to being summoned, Miss Doyle. My time is precious. This is about Liza. What is it? Is something wrong? Yes, something's wrong, Adam, and it's all your fault. What is it? The minute you divorced her, she threw herself at Jake. What are you talking about? Look, she's not doing too well right now, okay? She doesn't have a husband, she really wants a baby, and Jake, my Jake, is an incredible find. So she's decided to make him the catch of the day. Liza would never go back to Jake Martin. She was devastated when she lost your baby, Adam. And she is so desperate now to have another child that she has asked Jake to be the sperm donor. And he said yes. You have a warped sense of humor, Miss Doyle. This is no joke, Adam. Liza is going to have a baby, and Jake has volunteered his services. It's ridiculous. It's called Liza declaring biological warfare. And you pushed her to this. She wanted to have a life with you, Adam. She wanted to have your babies. But no, you had to steamroll her into a divorce that she didn't want. And now she's got to try and find some other guy to sire her offspring. What do you stand to gain from spreading this outrageous lie? You know what? Don't take my word for it, okay? See for yourself. She's registered with the Pine Valley Fertility Clinic. You, you said Jake. Well, she already went the anonymous route. But you know something? Why settle for Brand X when you've got a brainy, gorgeous doctor who's ready, willing, and able? I don't believe a word of this. Well, I'd check it out if I were you. Because Liza is headed for the mommy track. Thanks to Jake Martin. Don't look that way. Well, I understand. I understand why you can't be the donor. I just, I feel like I've, I've let you down. There are so. millions of fish in the sea. I well, know, but not too many like me. It's true. You are a man among men. 
You are one of my favorite friends and future godparent to my future small fry. Is there anything I can do to make it up to you? Yes. What? Come here. What? Please. Please get me out of here. Oh, what? You don't like our deluxe accommodations here? No, they are completely clean. Clean? Well, our guests insist on clean. Yes, I know, but I can't work this way. I'm used to coffee cups and food wrappers. Uh, all right, I'll talk to Dr. Gregory. Why? I did my personal best on the fourth yeah, well, floor. He's your chief med. He's the only one that can sign off on your release form. Can you light a fire under him? All right, I'll try. Uh. As soon as I touch base with Allie. Oh, she's all freaked out about David being around here. Vampires tend to have that effect. Mm-hmm. Well, the guy did save your life. His one good deed for the year. Now we can nail him back in his coffin. Right. And if he refuses, us villagers will chase him out of town by torchlight. You behave. Never. Mm -hmm. Are you there? Are you screening? Well, if you, if you get the message, will you come by? Maybe we could talk baby talk or something. It's the happy mama wannabe. I'll spring for the pickles and ice cream. Oh, and mom, bring an exorcist with you. Hope you like fudge ripple. Get out. This isn't purely a social call. I'm here to assure you that there are no medical roadblocks standing between you and having a strong, healthy babe. I already had this discussion with Dr. Clater. Second opinion can be reassuring. Not when I consider the source. <laughs> so tell me, when did getting pregnant move to the top of your to-do list? Who said it did? Your discussion with Stan Clater? was hypothetical. I also asked him if I could scuba dive. Whatever. It's none of my business. I was merely hoping to set your mind at ease. Well, there's nothing saying that it's anything else but. You know, while I'm here, I would like to take the opportunity to thank you. What you did to me that night in Adam's bedroom really changed my life. I just caught you at your own game, David. No. You forced me to take a long, hard look at myself. And I wasn't really happy with what I saw. I'm a new man. Because of you, Liza. And today is the first day of the rest of your life? Excuse me while I throw up. What is your game, Miss Doyle? You want me to confront Liza? Confront Jake? Make a fool of myself over a baby that exists only in your imagination? Oh, it'll be real soon enough, Adam. In fact, I think the next time Liza ovulates, Jake is going to have to be on hand to do his part. Why does the man who loves you want to conceive a child with another woman? Because probably like most men, he's not thinking with his brain. Maybe Liza batted her big, beautiful green eyes and he couldn't resist. Or maybe it was the monetary incentive. Liza's paying him? Well, it was more like a bribe, but my old school Stanford was threatening criminal charges if I didn't pay back my fellowship, and Liza, unsolicited, cut me a check for the full amount. A quarter of a million dollars, Adam, that she claimed was in the spirit of friendship. But I think she's using it to make Jake feel indebted. And I think this sperm donation thing is like a, a token of generosity for keeping me out of prison. What's wrong with sending flowers for crying out loud? Well, obviously, Liza will go to any extreme to get pregnant. What is it going to take for me to convince you? You, you want to wait and see her wobbling down the street eight months pregnant after here? It's very simple. She wants to have a baby, and Jake is going to be the father. I says I'm not having a child with another man, period. Well, it hasn't happened yet, has it? You can stop it. Sorry to hear that the new me makes you sick. So did the old you. I can grow on you. Like fungus? So you don't believe that people can change? People? Yeah. You? Mm. <laughs> well, that's interesting. Allie didn't buy it either. Allie is no dummy. If you think you can come back being the new and improved David Hayward and win her back, think again. 
You're not going to make the crossover from villain to hero. <laughs> well, I guess I'm a victim of my own success. <laughs> I was so good at playing the bad guy, it's hard to see me as anything else. Try impossible. Well, let me set your mind at ease, okay? Oh, there you go again. Trying to play with my mind. Do you always talk so much when you're nervous? You don't make me nervous, David. You make me sick. So you keep saying. Look, I'm not putting on a little act for Allison's sake. I feel sorry for her. I really do, losing her license. If you ask me, I think it's a waste. Allie needs to be a doctor just as you and I need to breathe. It's a great speech. Too bad it lacks conviction. <laughs> you are a tough critic. But it's okay, I can take it. Because you happen to be wrong. I'm over, Allie. Way over. That little shock therapy you put me through made me realize that I really wasn't in love with her. I just wanted to possess her. So why are you here? Well, I came back to consult on a case in Center City. But there is a woman that I've been thinking a lot about, a woman right here in Pine Valley. We got off to a shaky start. But if I had the chance to go back to the beginning, do it again, I would do things very differently. Well, God help her. Maybe I should warn her. Well, then stand warned. The woman in question is you. Adam, it's not too late. You can stop this disaster. You can win Liza back, and then she's not going to need Jake to father her child. For your information, the divorce was a mutual decision. Any regrets were Liza's, not mine. Well, that's interesting. The night of the explosion at Holidays, Liza's life was in danger. And I watched you. You refused to leave her side. I would have done the same for a dog lying in the road. You love Liza, Adam. You are in love with her, which is why you don't want any man to father her child. Any man but you. And you know something? Deep down inside, I know that Liza doesn't want it any other way either. Are you quoting? I was with her when she found out the real reason why she miscarried. I saw the pain in her eyes, Adam. She wanted to have your baby more than anything. And that is an empty space that not even Jake can fill. Only you. You and Liza can bring a new life into this world. You, Adam, should be the father of her child. Your fiancé tells me something I find difficult to believe. Tell me you have no intention of siring a child with Liza. Siring? That's a very interesting word choice. Well, what word would you use vis-a-vis -vis your plan to impregnate my ex-wife? I don't have to answer that. So it's true. This doesn't concern you. For once in your life, why don't you do what's best for Liza? Stay out of her life. Don't call her, don't try to talk to her, stay away from her. You got that? Yeah, I got that. You're alarmingly protective of your new mate. Or is it the stud fee you're defending? Do you remember what I said to you right before I left town? Oh, yeah. I raced right home to enter it into my diary. I remarked about how alike you and I are. Oh, now I know I've been insulted. You came after me with the heart of a lion and the spirit of an Amazon queen. You matched me move for move without flinching. You were my equal in every way. And I respect that. I don't think respect is a word you're quite familiar with. You see that? There you go. Fearless. And yet so beautiful. High praise from a man who's hanging on to the lowest rung of the evolutionary ladder. You get the last shot, this time. 
by the way, beautiful roses, very much like you. Just have to watch out for the thorns. I have a feeling you're going to make one hell of a mother. yourself into a self-righteous froth or another. Eliza wants to ruin her life. That's fine. That's her problem, not mine. You have my sympathy. Well, hmm. while you were uh, spilling Liza's plans to Adam, I was talking to her. I told her that I couldn't be her donor because it was, it was unfair to you. Jake, thank you so much. You don't know how much this means to no, me. You know, I know how much it means to Liza. You don't, you just you just handed her over to the enemy. Jake, you realize that? I had no idea. No, no, save it. See, you knew exactly what you were doing. She wants nothing to do with Adam. She wants to raise this child on her own accord. Her decision has nothing to do with you, has nothing to do with Adam. What are you What are you doing? I don't get you right now. You go and tell the one guy, the one guy she doesn't want in her child's life. Where are you going? I'm going to Liza's room before he gets there. looking for why is there a problem no I, I just uh i want to get sprung yeah i uh, i've been working on it really well could you work a little harder because i'm just really desperate to get out of here has there been any visitors no one to speak of i have wasted a half hour though boning up on the mating habits of the mediterranean fruit fly well and a little change of plans, and I think we'll brighten your day. Everything's settled with Allie. I'm gonna do it. Do what? I'm gonna father your baby. Ugh. My hand is cramping when I'm applying for a mortgage here or donating a little yeah, bodily fluid. I just think. But they just want to be extra cautious after the Ryan Lavery debacle. Yeah. Probably want to look in the computer, make sure you're not a felon. Do you have all those forms, Dr. Martin? Almost. Right uh, here. Mm. Do I uh, pass muster? Well, everything seems to be in order. Good. You know, in fact, 
I'd say you're ideally suited to be a donor. Mm -hmm. So, uh, all we need now is your specimen. Hmm. I assume you'll be uh, then running some tests after. Oh, right. And if everything checks out, we'll flash freeze it for Miss Colby. Let me go see if we have a room ready for you. All right. <clears throat> Nervous? You? <laughs> I'm, I'm excited. Good. Yeah. Are you sure you're okay with yes, this? Yes, yes, I'm fine. Why wouldn't okay. I be? Um, well, gee, um, maybe Allie. Mm, no, we've been over this. She's not part of the equation. I am exactly where I want no, to be. No, I know, I know. But, but how did you resolve it? it or, or are you just going through this anyway? Okay. We're all ready for you, Dr. Martin. Hmm. Uh, hold the fort. Yeah. Have fun. Right. <sighs> hey. So, mission accomplished? Yeah, yes, in a manner of speaking. Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, won't, I won't ask any more questions. No, thank you. Well, maybe one. I want to know what happened with Allie. You sort of ducked mm. the question. You did an Evander Holyfield on me. Can we not talk about her right now? No, I know you don't want to talk about it. I'm just interested in how you handled it. She handled it by breaking up with me. The engagement's off. Because of me? No, no. Don't blame yourself. No, but this... This, th this... Yes, this was a catalyst, but... Obviously, we have much bigger problems. Jake, if you if you love someone, if you really, really love someone, you work things out. Oh. If you have a problem, you work it out together. You don't just walk away because you have a disagreement. No, I know, but it, it, it's not like that, really. You should you should just go to her and tell her that you're not going to be the donor, that I'll find somebody else. Don't, don't destroy what you have. But we don't have anything anymore. Yeah, we but ha you could have it back. No, no, Liza, you, you've seen her. She's She's changed. Ever since this transcript thing blew up in her face, she's she's just different. Maybe she just needs some time no. to... No. No, she's crossed a line. She doesn't even care. She has no remorse. What line? Oh. Well, maybe you should know about this. She went to Adam about this, the clinic, me being the donor. When was this? This was a couple of days ago. Have you heard from Adam? No, nothing. Well, that's a good sign. Maybe maybe his reaction was on the level. Wait a minute, wait a minute. you saw him? Yeah. Where was this? At the hospital, right after Allie spilled a bean. And what so did he speak. say to you? He said something along the lines of, if Liza wants to ruin her life, that's her business, not mine. That was it? That was it. I don't know, maybe, maybe it was just an act. No, I, um, no, probably not. I, th I think he's pretty much over me, so. Okay, Dr. Martin, your specimen was fine. Ah. Uh, Miss Colby, we'll need to do some blood work on you. Yeah, no problem. Okay. We know usually I like to have a drink or a cup of coffee after a moment <laughs> like this. Can I, um... Can I treat you? Uh, you stick around? I'd love to, but I've got to get back to the hospital to see a patient. Mm. Another time? You got it. All right. Bye. Jake? Yeah. Thanks. So what's next? Well, if your temperature cycle mirrors last month's, we'll see you back here same time tomorrow. Okay, fantastic. Your donor sperm's already been frozen, so we'll be all set. Okay. Do you have any other questions? No, no, thank you. Well, then if you'll excuse me. Sure. He's here. The receptionist is sending him down to meet us. I didn't even know the clinic was for sale. Neither did I. The whole thing's been so hush-hush. Oh. Come on. Ah, good, good evening, ladies. Allow me to introduce myself. <clears throat> Adam Chandler. 
I'm the new owner of this clinic. Well, I'd like to see the uh, rest of the clinic, the um, offices and labs, the behind-the-scenes areas. Oh, Roddy, I think you'll be pleased with what you see, Mr. Chandler. Oh, I'm sure I will. I'm sure I will. I, but I'd like to do, do it on a rather informal basis. Um, sure. Yes, Miss Huntley. Mm -hmm. is that Charming. Um, I wouldn't want the patients thinking we're changing procedures midstream. So <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Why don't we start off this way? All right, you lead. Hi. Sorry. Oh. I love my sunglasses here. Oh, I do not. You do that all the time. You're welcome to look. Oh, thanks. Um, I'd help you, but I have to go meet the new owner. Oh, all right. Well, no, please. I'll just see if I can find her. Terrific. Okay. <sighs> oh, shit. Okay. Allie. Hi, Liza. What are you doing here? Well, I came to talk to you. <laughs> well, this really isn't the place. Please, I insist. I decline. You don't have a choice. Things that I want to say. Fine. Write a letter. No, I'd like you to hear me out. Right here and now. I'm sorry. It's just not going to happen. Yes, yes, it is. Look, Allie, I know what you want to talk about, and I don't want to talk about it here. We are at the clinic. I know that, but it, it can't wait. I don't want to have a fight with you. I have no intention of fighting. Then why are you blocking the door? Because I've tracked you down here so that I could throw myself on your mercy. Well, that's a new and different approach. Liza, you know the last three months have been the worst time of my life. Losing my license to practice medicine was devastating. Being arrested for fraud, everything coming down on me all at once. Yes, I have to admit that I've completely lost it. And I said some things to you that I shouldn't have said, and I'm profoundly sorry. But Liza Jake was all that I had left in my life, and you made me feel like you were going to take him away. I wasn't trying to take Jake away from you. I know that now. But at the time, with everything else that was going on, that's how I interpreted it. And now you know you misinterpreted it? Yes. Now I know that you never intended to hurt me, and that the news of Jake wanting to father your baby was like the last straw. I love him so much, I couldn't handle the prospect of losing him. That wasn't going to happen. Yeah, but I wasn't secured in that. Which is why I panicked, and I overreacted, and I said some horrible things to you. And I'm so very sorry for the ugly names that I called you. I, I will probably never be able to forgive myself for doing it. But I can tell you that I was not in, in the right state of mind. And now... And now? Now I'm coming here to beg for your forgiveness. Will you forgive me, Liza? So we can be friends again. You have to believe me, it's the truth. I do? So which Allie am I supposed to believe? The one who is begging for my forgiveness or the one who ran to Adam to tell him about me wanting a baby? Listen, I wasn't thinking when I did you that. You were thinking. In fact, you probably stayed up all night thinking about it. No, it was more like a blurt, completely Come on, Allie. Don't you know who you're talking to? I know that your life has been destroyed because of the issues that you've faced. That when you found out Jake was planning this, that you decided you'd try to hurt me, to destroy me. You thought, gee, how can I get back at Liza? I'll go run into Adam and tell him that she wants a baby. No, that wasn't my intention at all. I just wanted to stop the insemination. Uh, sweetheart, whatever you were thinking, whatever you weren't thinking, you crossed a line. And to me, that is unforgivable. This conversation is over. You know what? Fine. If that's how you want to play it, don't forgive me. But it's not like what I did was any worse than what you See? did. See? You actually think that I did something to you. Liza, you, you know how much I love Jake. And yet you deliberately went behind my back and schemed a way to steal him away from me. I think that you should get another song because I did not. I don't want to. I'm not trying to steal Jake away from you. How can you keep saying that with a straight face? All right, that's it. I can't even believe how wrong you are about this. I'm going to stay here, and I'm going to talk this out with you, finally and once and for all. Yeah, well, I'm not staying. Well, you are staying. You are going to stand here, and you are going to listen to me until I am finished. I know that you and Jake have parted ways, 
And at first, I was really sad that I unwittingly contributed to it. You mean caused it, don't you? You and you alone killed our engagement, Liza. It's sad that you even think that. Maybe this is just what Jake wanted, Allie. You know, you're the one that could change this around. <laughs> this engagement could be back on if you would just let Jake off the hook. <laughs> Of course you would say that. Liza, all you have to do is select another donor. J just let Jake go. I don't have him. But you will if you have his baby. Don't do it. Don't do it or you're going to be sorry you were ever born. Are you threatening me? Call it a warning. And you think that's supposed to win me over? You better. Really? Or what? You're going to huff and puff and blow the clinic down? You did your worst when you went running off to Adam to tell him I wanted a baby. Did that hurt you? Good. <laughs> you deserve it. You're so vicious. You know, I hope Adam is as vicious. I hope Adam is vicious enough to stop you from having Jake's baby. What Jake and I are doing has nothing to do with emotional involvement. That is such bull. What is wrong with you? Why can't you understand what I'm saying I do to you? understand. I just don't believe. I've seen you lie. Brilliantly. I've seen you fake out David and Jake. You're not going to fake me out. We could have been such good friends. Friends don't steal their friend's fiance. I don't think you were such a good friend to me when you went behind my back to Jake. Maybe you're right. Maybe it wasn't the right thing to do, Jake and I, planning all of this without talking to you first, but it wasn't malicious. Not like you. Not like you going to Adam. See, Allie, you're the one who's in all the pain. Don't go there, Liza. If Adam's involvement makes things a little bit more complicated, but I've dealt with him before. I've gone head to head with him before. So you're the one who has lost everything, Allie. And I feel sorry for you. You know what? You don't need to insult me you with You have phony. lost your job and you have lost your license. You have lost me as your best friend and you've lost Jake. You have pushed this self-destruct button and it was totally unnecessary. Well, gee, maybe I should have waited for the rainbow. You pushed me away. And, and then Jake, he came to you, he wanted to work everything out, and you just kept pushing him away. You are the only one to blame, Allie. All this pain is self-inflicted. The only person who is hurting you is you. your temperature readings, you should be ovulating tomorrow. Really? Oh, <laughs> uh, well then I guess I'll see you tomorrow. We'll be ready. Okay, <laughs> thank you. You're very welcome.